This isn't a movie.
Okay, now that was like some real fucking self-actualization. <sighs> Fuck yeah. God, it just smells so good. Gross. Okay, so we're gonna follow the Ganga River all the way up to Mount Brahmin. They'll probably expect us to go downstream toward Noratuk, but we're gonna follow the river north and we're gonna cut across Route 9 before we... we... Maybe we should count this later. Yo, puff, puff, pass, dude. You're expecting a call? No, I'm just checking what time it is. What the hell? I just used this. Do you have a lighter? No. No? <clears throat> I don't have a lighter. Okay. <laughs> You were really great back there. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I kind of had to be since, you know. Told ya. Anyway, if I hadn't been there and fucking seen it the way the guards all just froze like that. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, one of us had to be because you didn't have a plan. Uh, I'm making opportunities over here. Anyway, it was like that fucking book, right? Where did you get that thing? I borrowed it from my sister. Borrowed, right. <laughs> I don't even fucking care. We're gonna be fucking rich as fuck. <sighs> yeah. All the same, we have to be up at Mount Brahmin by dusk. Why are you at Reverse Vampire? No, Mount Brahmin is a state reservation and I parked the car up by Pynchon Peak. And the park closes at dusk. What was that you said, dear? I said that we only have until sunset, and I'm gonna be packing for most of tomorrow. Mm. So do you wanna talk about it? Not particularly. So we're just gonna ignore it all day? That would be ideal. You know, this isn't a picnic. What is it then? You were supposed to take me on a picnic in nature. I brought food. By definition only. I guess it really was inevitable. Is that what your cards say? Oh, they say much more than that. But yes, they say that too. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
mean, I told you this wasn't gonna work out. I am psychic, you know. Mm-hmm. Are you even listening to me? Mm-hmm. You know, for someone who's so damn smart, you're a real fucking dolt sometimes. Hey! Where are you going? Alright. We gotta get going. Make sure you pack everything up. We don't want to leave anything behind. You don't think we should split this up first? No. We don't have... We don't have... Hey! What? We don't have what? You just trailed off there. Time. We don't have time. So what is this thing that's so much more interesting than me? It's called a tachyonic anti-telephone. It's only been a theoretical device until now. So what does it do? Well, theoretically it can send messages back in time. I was hoping I might be able to give myself some advice on whether we should call it quits or not. And? I've uh, been too afraid to turn it on. What a wire. I think I saw something out there. Alex. Something like flickered. Alex. Like a ghost or something. Alex. What? <sighs> Who's going to carry the money? Uh. Well, I guess I'll carry the money. Why? Because I'll be in front leading the way. Why? Because I know the way. Why? Because I have a map. So give me the map. Oh, do you know how to read a map? Shut up. <sighs> okay, so give me the money. Mm. Look for it. Because this is math. That's hokum. You're such an ass, Paul. Look, magic is a bunch of collected superstitions. Science is tested and retested observations of phenomena using empirical evidence. You can measure science. So me being able to predict the future is somehow silly, but you being able to predict the future with this stupid machine is legit? Yeah, basically. What about love? What about it? Love's real and you can't measure that. Well... Well? Love isn't real. It's basically a socially programmed response to a flood of feelings caused by chemicals in our brains. It's mostly based on learned social cues. I mean, it's practically biochemistry. Is that what I am to you? Is that what this relationship is? Is this some sort of biochemical response to learn social cues? Look, I don't want to fight.
That's my sister in the white. What the hell is she doing here? God only knows. It hit the ground. That doesn't matter. You would say that because you won. So you admit that I won. So what are we gonna do? I suggest nothing. You would. Didn't you see the girl dressed like death? The one wearing the scorpion hat? Oh, what, is this about your dream? Is she gonna shoot the sun? I don't know, Paul. I'm getting a weird feeling of deja vu. <laughs> Look, I won the coin toss. I know the way. I'm carrying the money. Fine. <laughs> Cute. Oh, you know, it's the old Orion charm. What was that? You saw it? Uh, I don't know what I saw. Let's get the hell out of here. Why don't we ask this thing? I don't think so. Why not? Look, it's not a Ouija board. You don't just ask it questions. Why not? Quiet, here they come. Yeah, me and my sister used to come out here all the time, when we were little. Are there gonna be people? No, no one ever really comes out here. Why not? Because it's supposed to be haunted. Are you serious? Yeah, that's New England for you. Even the woods have ghosts. Voluntary courtship is largely a 20th century invention. It's like, how do you end a relationship with someone? You can't. Relationships don't end. That's true. In physics, a relationship is a way of describing two objects. Everything in the universe is in relationship to everything else. Exactly. Even if we don't see each other, there we are. Our lives might be at like different banks, but they're running parallel. So, what do you want to do about your sister? I don't know, Paul. Quit, quit changing the subject. We haven't talked about this all summer and we're out of time. Okay, fine. I, we knew what we were getting into. I knew you were leaving at the end of the summer. This relationship was doomed from the start. Conclusion was built into the premise. Stop talking about inevitabilities and tell me what you want. What do I want? I want more time. I want another chance. I want another go. I want things to be different. I want to start at the beginning. Well, I guess the world just really doesn't care what we want. We were doing a good job of avoiding this. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, we were, weren't we? <laughs> you know something, Paul? It's not that you want what you can't have. It's that you only want what you can't have. Man, are you sure you don't have any matches? Do you believe in ghosts? I don't, I don't know. What do you think happens to you when you die? I don't think anything happens. You don't believe in like heaven or reincarnation? Nope. But don't you ever wonder? Nope. I do. I think we live our lives over and over again. And when we die, we go back to the beginning. So like reincarnation. Not exactly. I had a dream once where all my different lives were branches of a giant tree. Only the tree, it wasn't really a tree. It was like every time I lived a life, it made a line, you know, like a squiggle. 
and over and over again I lived the same life until eventually it wasn't just one squiggle, it was thousands. And the thicker parts were where I had done the same thing in multiple lives, so it naturally took the shape of a tree, with my different choices branching out more and more as I went on. And some branches ended with a leaf, and some with a flower. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just typically you're more Hollister than Heigl. Whatever, Miss Smarty Pants. I think about stuff too. And I think I don't have deep thoughts or whatever just because I have money and care about clothes and junk, but being rich doesn't define who I am, just like being poor doesn't define you. Right, because I chose my socioeconomic status. And I chose mine. I don't know, Alex, just something's gotta be said for personal choices, right? Yeah, well, I guess you just had more choices than I did. Look, we can talk about all this tonight, but for real, what are we gonna do about your sister? Should we keep following them? I don't know. Yes, we have to. I'm afraid she stole my mom's spell book. So? Look, I know you don't believe in magic, but I do. And I also believe it can be dangerous. Magic is like anything. It's like chemistry or driving. It's fine if you know what you're doing, but if you don't, really bad things can happen. So what do you want to do? It looks like they just robbed a bank. They might be dangerous too. Can we ask your thingy? This thingy is a device that uses a tachyonic wave emitter to send messages through a closed time loop. It's not a Ouija board at a slumber party. Then what good is it? We can turn it on. I just can't guarantee we'll get any messages. Well, what if we just send a test message first? Okay, look. <clears throat> when I power this on, the tachyonic receiver, it opens up kind of a bridge between now and the future. But there's a catch. You know when you're using a microphone and it's too close to speakers, you get that horrible feedback sound? Well, according to my calculations, the same thing is true with time communications. So if we send a message too close in time, we might get feedback. Like a horrible shrieking sound? No. I, I, I don't really know what coronal feedback entails. It could be anything. So, what are you going to do? With the money? Probably the same stuff I already do. Maybe I'll buy my own car. That'll really piss Roger off. You robbed a bank to spite your dad. Yeah, so what are you going to do with your cut that's so great? Student loans. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. And you're giving me shit. You robbed a bank to pay off your student loans. Don't most people, like, get a job at a coffee place? Yeah, well, it was a big loan. But what if we send ourselves a different message later? What if this message says, do B, but three hours from now, we send a message that says, do A? You can't. I built in a fail safe. Once the device receives a message, it records a copy. When the timer's up, the message is transmitted back. It's like a paradox heatsink, although according to the Novikov self- Paul, if the machine is sending itself a message, if it's not us, I mean, well, where does the first message come from? Well- Doesn't that create some sort of paradox or time loop like you were talking about? Well, uh, oh, it looks like the device is powered up. Let's see if we have any advice for ourselves. I think it's pretty obvious. Well, I think there's something wrong with it. You remember my dream? It's the girl with the scorpion that we need to stop. 
The question is, which do we believe? Your dream or my machine? Come on, like, think bigger. If you could be anything in the world, what would you be? Man, are you sure you don't have any matches? I'd want to be an animal, you know, like an ant. An ant? Yeah. You don't have to worry about what they're gonna do or what they have to be. They don't get in trouble for like wanting stuff. They're just born knowing. They just do. Come on, what about you? Don't you wanna go back to nature? I mean, I guess, but I wouldn't wanna be a bird or a tree or anything. Well, like what then? I want to be the sky. Oh, okay, never mind. If I change my answer. I want what you want. We have to do something now. Like what? We don't know enough yet. Why do we send ourselves such a vague message? Again, I think it's pretty clear. We need to do something. Yeah, I heard you the first time. What do you want us to do? I don't know, Paul. There's something here with us. So who's this Heigl guy? He's a philosopher. Okay, what did he philosophize about? The owl of Minerva spreads its wings only with the falling of dusk. What's that supposed to mean? Minerva's the goddess of wisdom and the owl's her symbol, so basically it means that you don't understand the significance of something until it's too late to do anything about it. That's depressing. That's philosophy. Hey, you sprung a leak. It's not me. There's money everywhere. It's coming from somewhere. forest is weird. Like, why are all the trees in rows? State Conservation Agency used to bury inmates out here. The trees are grave markers. Okay, WTF. Hey, what are you reaching for? I saw you reaching your bag. What do you have? You're paranoid. You have a gun, don't you? We agreed, no guns. Okay, yeah, right. Then what, you bring one? Lure me out here, scare me with all this ghost bullshit. Shoot me and take the money? What? I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. You. Me. What, what, you think that was my plan? You are paranoid. I was just getting a square and a light. Are you fucking serious? I've literally been asking you for a lighter all goddamn day. Yeah, like I heard you.
You believe me now, Paul? We have to stop that scorpion girl. Are you serious? You still believe that damn device? Yes, I do. Well, if that thing can send messages back in time, why can't I? I don't follow. You are always saying how everything is connected throughout time. So maybe my dream was like me remembering the future somehow. That's, yeah, that's silly. You know what you should call that thing? The free will eradicator. <laughs> Who says there's free will to begin with? No, it's just clockwork, huh? Like we're all bound to a train that never leaves the tracks? Well, you know, we are all bound. We're, we're bound by the things we want. No, we have choices. I believe in free will. Well, I believe that I love you, and what choice do I have about that? I believe that you're leaving tomorrow and I'll probably never see you again, and what choice do I have about that? I don't know, Paul, but choose something. Choose to believe me. Choose to believe your own feelings over numbers. Your free will can't grow if you don't use it. Grow? Yes, Paul. Free will is a muscle that you stopped using. And you haven't just atrophied your free will, you've atrophied your entire life. Where are you going? To do something. I did it. I made it. Wow. Go, Alex. Look who's double-crossing who. Looks like you're still double-crossing me. Whatever. Just drop the money and jump off the mountain. What? You heard me. Jump or, like, I'll shoot you, so I guess it's your choice how you want to go. Okay. Okay, everything's cool. Evening traces shadows fall. The wheel of time spins evermore. I don't know what
what the fuck you think you're doing, but I have a gun and you have like a big knife, so I think I'm gonna come out on top here. The arrow course, the river flows. The thread of fate is spun and shorn. Knock it off. Now turn the wheel, four quarters spun. Jesus, you scared me half to death. What's going on? That girl's got a gun. Do you believe me now, Paul? You can see it with your own eyes. There's something we're not getting. I mean, there's some piece we're missing. You're so fucking obtuse. You can see it right there. Empirical evidence. And what? You're not gonna believe your own eyes? You're gonna trust that stupid machine? Over your dream? Yes. Now turn the wheel four quarters spun. What are you doing? Hey, dummy! Why is she reciting poetry? I'm pretty sure she's trying to turn back time by an hour. How? With magic? Yeah. So nothing will happen. Anyways, wouldn't that fix the situation? I mean, if we can go back in time, then we'll know what'll happen. And then we can just, you know... Just what, Paul? Don't you get it yet? Haven't you figured it out? The flickering lights? The deja vu? No. It's not feedback from your device, Paul. It's us. We're the ones haunting our lives. Paul, don't! Look, do you want to break up or not? This isn't really the time. It's never the time. Just answer the question. No, Paul, I don't. Well, neither do I. Where are you going? To do something. Who the hell are you? I'm Alex's sister's boyfriend. I'm Paul Fate. Listen to reason, Alex. Just give her the money. Let it go. Alex, there's no way out. You don't have a choice. I do. I do have a choice. Stop this. I really thought you were gonna try something dramatic. Back round again. You know, again at once. This isn't a movie.
much time for us to play And we've got some things to say